Hello, my Aries singles. Elsie here to do a reading for you for the week ahead. So if you are someone who is single, and what I mean by single is not that you're separated from your marriage. <laughs> what I mean is, is that if you don't have a legal contract currently, if you're in a relationship, even if it's monogamous and you're with this person, that's my definition of single. If you don't put a ring on it, then you don't belong to anybody. You belong to you. And even when you put a ring on it, you belong to you. But I'm here for Aries, singles, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's see what's happening in the singles realm today, please. We need to know what Aries should be expecting for the week ahead for singles. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's cut these here. Singles, Aries, singles. Aries singles. Tell me what's going on with the Aries singles. The highest good of Aries singles, please. Thank you. Oh, look at that. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. Someone who is charitable and kind. Someone who is the domestic goddess. She's beautiful. She helps people whenever she can because that's who she is. She also has the thing of speaking her mind, though. She's not just someone that you would take for granted because she does have a lot of information she's highly intelligent she's smart and i feel like she has a little bit of masculine energy but that's interesting because she could be taurus virgo capricorn and um this uh king of swords i think could be either a player in your life aries or um could be you absolutely um i feel like you might be dealing with the queen of pentacles and I don't think you've seen this person in a while, Aries. I think you're on a break. I think you're healing is what you're doing. You're not just kind of sitting around doing diddly squitch. But, um, like that word, diddly squitch. That's my grandma's word. Um, and uh, she, um, I feel, yeah, that's my grandma's word. <laughs> she. Um, I just want to say that I feel like you two have been in separation for a bit here. But I think you're manifesting it back. What's going on here? What's going on here, Aries? Jeez. It's always so complicated with Aries readings. I'm just exhausted after I do Aries. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. Burdens. Ooh, leaving you out. All right. And six of swords on the bottom of the deck. Interesting. All right. Let me think here. Let me listen. Okay. So, I feel as though that this King of Swords energy is the energy that is within the big three of this Aries person. Um, the big three, Sun, Moon, and Rising, right? So, I feel like there's um, the ability or not the ability, I'm hearing the need. That's what I just heard, the need to speak up. The need to say everything that you ever wanted to say, being prepared to cut someone out if they're not going to listen to what you have to say. Um, I feel, Aries, that you, um, you've you waited a while to do this. You're manifesting the, the point at which you can talk with this person, even though they're right there. This person's on your side, quite literally. <laughs> Thank you for that. That's pretty clever. Those are my angels and guides. i got to give them kudos, right? Yeah. This person's always been on your side. Look at that. Um, but I think that there was something that went on here that caused you to... caused you to leave each other. But now you're manifesting each other back. I don't understand. So do you like each other or don't you? Because the King of Swords is someone to be reckoned with. But of course, so is the Queen of Pentacles, right? Queen of Pentacles doesn't need a man. She doesn't need anyone at her side, man or woman. She can do it all herself because she's financially stable. She is the, uh, she's the nine of Pentacles, you know, doubled down. <laughs> she doesn't really need anybody. I mean, it, you know, at this point, I feel like the... Um, the ability to be with someone, I think, is a need to have, or a nice to have and not a need to have at this point. But I feel like it may have been the King of Swords that walked away here. And that um, it, was the queen, it was the King of Swords who had to do the healing. And it might have been the Queen of Pentacles as well, but I'm feeling strongly this, this need to heal, this need to speak your mind here, Aries. There's a need. Yeah. 
and uh, yeah, I think you're you're manifesting this person back after. Now, with the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like she's carrying burdens as well, but you know what, you guys? We can't wait until we're perfect before we live our lives. We can't. You know, the Queen of Pentacles is, um, she is always... <laughs> I just heard got her nose in someone's business. Well, it's just because she's the multitasking queen and she takes care of people all the time, right? She's charitable. So I feel like she um, she does end up collecting burdens because of the people she's unburdening. <sighs> wow. You can see why I'm exhausted after these freaking Aries readings. So yes, she is um, the person who is helping with the unburdening and therefore she takes on these burdens as her own so she can see them in an empathetic way. She wants to be able to see things from the view of this King of Swords here. So um, I feel like the King of Swords was left out in the cold, but I'm not really clear about who left him out in the cold. Um, is the King of Swords walking away himself or is he... Or did this person push him away? But I think you're still together in the 5D. So you're not comp communicating in the 3D, Aries, with this person. But you are helping each other through your trials in the 5D. Wow. That <laughs> just blew my mind. <laughs> Neat. Okay, um, and then we have um, the Four of Swords here. So this is the, the depart, the depart, departing, all right? This is when you departed, and I don't know that your person followed. I think your person is spiritual enough, this Queen of Pentacles, spiritual enough, feeling the vibrations in the ground. I feel like she's like, he'll be back. Yeah, once he heals, he'll be back. Wow. Hmm. So the Knight of Cups, look at you. There you are, you're back. <laughs> oh, I think your person is back too. Honestly, I think this is your person's energy because I see this bottom row as being them. And uh, I see the top row as being you. So I feel like that there is, uh, this person is just waiting for you to finish healing so they can tell you that they love you. So they can tell you that they want to do whatever it is that's going to make you happy really deeply and on the surface. So as above, um, uh, you know, as is done above, so below. So I feel like they just want to really get deep into whatever it is that you need. And, and I think that this queen is wanting to give you whatever it is that you need. You are manifesting um, going on uh, some sort of trip here, or your person is. And I feel like um, your person feels as though they have the world in their hands because they love you. Okay, I'm just going to say the thing is, is that this person has not talked to you. You've not had co communication. You've been on a break or you're healing or whatever's going on here. But they still love you. And they're preparing to meet you. They're at the crossroads of their life and that's where they're waiting, Aries. They're waiting there for you. Waiting for you to manifest. Neat. So we've got... Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we've got Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. Again, we've got air signs. We've got the Magician, who is, I believe, Mercury and um, Aries. And then we have um, these two here, right? And this is fire energy. Surprise, there's very little fire energy for an Aries reading. So we have um, Aries, uh, Sagittarius, or Leo. We have... Um, Taurus energy here again with the pentacles and we have Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. So these could be <clears throat> in your chart or it could be someone that you're dealing with. All right, let's look here. So I said that this person was leaving, right? Somebody's heading out somewhere. Ooh, I know to see the Empress. Okay. Well, um, so the Empress is uh, Taurus and Libra and we do have Taurus and Libra here. And, um, I feel like you're a little bit defensive, though. Get some of these cards off the bottom here. I feel, Aries, that you're a little bit defensive about going to see this Empress. She is a Taurus and Libra, right? Very creative, highly intuitive. And I feel like you're going to offer this person the world. Ooh, that's what you're hiding. That's what you're protecting. You're protecting this beautiful pentacle, this beautiful thing that is going to happen when you bring in this new offer. Wow. Because you're healed. Aww. 
Yep. Now you're going to drag this person down a new path in, in passion here. Um, so I feel like um, this page of wands is here because there is uh, quite a difference in age here. And uh, the page of wands is heading towards the king of wands. That's you. Okay, so your person actually has dispatched already, has dispatched a page to give you some news. Who is that person? To tell you that I'm tired of waiting, I'm using my intuition here, but I'm tired of waiting for you to come in with this apology and this love. I really want to have this fated event, this thing that's going to turn us forward, this thing that's going to happen quickly because I want this new start with you, this balance we're going to have together and all these opportunities because we're soulmates and in love. Are you kidding me? Wow. So this person's your twin flame. Could have Gemini in your chart. Neat. Okay. Well, that escalated quickly. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> let's keep going. Clarify. Aries singles. Aries singles. Sun, moon, rising. Venus and Jupiter. Aries singles, please. Let's clarify for our Aries singles for the week ahead. There we go. One, and... Two cuts. Go. And, okay, so let's take a look here. So the Queen of Pentacles, I feel, is reluctant to drop these burdens. They want to know what the burdens are about. They want to be able to help you with these burdens. Sorry, too many. Too many. Um, and I feel like this person really does want to help you, um, Aries, drop these burdens here. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about the Queen and these burdens, please. The Queen of Pentacles. This person, by the way, is financially stable. They're doing really well on their own. They're living in a beautiful place. King of Pentacles. Hmm, look at that. Soulmate. So this, at the very least, is a soulmate connection, but I do believe that this is a twin flame. Yeah, because we got... It, well, it'll be twin flame in the future. Well, it's twin flame now, if it's anything. Um, but you just don't know this yet, Aries. And um, if you don't know what a twin flame is, please go Google that stuff. All right, so we have the Queen and the King of Pentacles here now. You both being um, uh, stable financially, right? Uh, charitable. And I feel like when you drop these burdens here that there's going to be a huge, huge difference in your life. And you're no longer waiting. Yeah, you're no longer waiting to drop these burdens here. I feel like uh, seven, in, um, seven of Pentacles in reverse tells me that you're... Um, I'm going to drop those burdens. I feel like there is some communication that you want to give someone about um, how you're going to drop the burdens. Um, no. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Not waiting for this soulmate reunion anymore. That's what it is. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, not wanting to wait for this soulmate reunion anymore, but not saying anything about it. Eight of Wands is in the reverse. It's no communication. Communication shut down. And um, the Seven of Pentacles is in the reverse. So no more waiting. Everything's ripe. It's ready to go. So why aren't you calling someone, Aries? Why aren't you calling your person and letting them know? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Because you don't think that they are a long-term relationship. You don't think that they're going to buy in for the long-term relationship. Um, you also could be having money issues right now. Ten of uh, Pentacles in the reverse tells me that they're, um, that maybe you are financially, well, financially stable is a, is a word in itself, but, or a couple words in themselves. But um, I feel like what's going on is that you don't have as much money as you want to have in order to be able to support this relationship. But you know what? Any happy relationship isn't worrying about money unless you're living in a box on the street, right? Um, as long as you have a roof over your head, stuff in your fridge, and a person to love and love you back, honestly, and with pure love, what else do you need, right? So I feel like you were put out in the cold here, Aries, after speaking some harsh words, being a little king of swords-like, 
<laughs> yeah, you cut this person out. Um, so you cut you cut your healer out. What's your deal? You cut your person out because that's what Marys would do. They're like, you don't agree with me. I get the final word. Get out. Um, yeah, that could be. Not all, all Aries are like that. It does depend on your moon and your rising. I'm just being silly. Um, and then we have uh, the Six of Swords. Yeah, so I feel like you're moving towards this person and you don't, you no longer want to be left out in the cold. Six of Swords is telling me you got lots to say. You're bringing lots of stuff that you've learned with you. It is terrifying you. You are scared of toxicity. You don't want this to be a toxic connection. Um, you don't want to be scared of it. You don't want to be behind the fear wall, but you are because this has happened to you before. You've cut somebody out because they were toxic in your life and you just don't want to have to cut this person out because I think you're really yeah I think you're really in love with them they're in love with you as well deeply in love with you wow deeply in love you know this person Aries is ready to take care of you this person the Queen of Cups energy she is the person who can usually give too much of herself she can um, we have a Queen of Cups and a Queen of Pentacles on the table right now. No other Queens, I don't believe. No, just a King. Um, but yeah, she can give too much of herself. And that is how she can become toxic. If she gives away too much of her energy without replenishing her own cup first, that's how things can get a little wonky for your person. Um, but I feel like they don't want toxicity either. They just want to take care of you and love you, be your person. Um... You know, they want to do all the things that the, the Queen of Cups does. She gives away her love. She takes care of everyone around her. I think that's what she wants to do. So we have a break here, but I think after a break and after you're healed, that you are going to go towards this person. Tell them that you're also at a fork in the road and you're going to manifest them back into your life because I think that you really are in love with them. This Empress, she is in the reverse right now because um, she is someone who's taking care of herself, actually. She is practicing self-care, self-love, and while you're healing, so is she. Isn't that beautiful? So she has decided that she has some toxic traits that she can take care of as well, and that she is going to go within herself, speak with spirit, and ask for forgiveness of the things that she's done. And I think that while you're healing, she is in healing mode as well. Yeah, she's not helping anyone out around her. She's not giving away her energy frivolously, because the Empress understands the energy um, in which she holds, right? She understands that um, she is the Queen of Cups and that the Queen of Cups gives away too much. But however, we do have the Queen of Pentacles here and the Queen of Pentacles is pretty balanced. So when someone is an Empress, they have the um, energy of all the Queens, all four, right? Swords, Cups, Pentacles, and Wands. And th the reason that she's so balanced is, is because she knows her worth, right? She knows the worth of all of that information she holds. She also knows her own worth. You guys, you know, I have been using she and he because that's what my eye sees. That's what my brain says. But you know that we're, we are talking about energy here, right? So whether you are male or female, you could be the empress. Whether you are male or female, you could be the, the queen of pentacles or the king of pentacles. So you guys know that. We're not, we're not reading male or female here. That's only the capsule you came here in. Uh, what we are reading is energy. That's who you truly are. Who you truly are is in your soul, not in the body that you're carrying around in this life. Queen of Pentacles, she's back. <laughs> yeah, I think that, that um, there, there's to be some financial stability here. I feel like this person is going to teach you about love, uh, teach you about how to, how to um, trust someone um, emotionally. I feel like that's what she's preparing for, to be the person that you can trust emotionally and know that you're always safe with her. And the Nine of Pentacles, because right now she's single and abundant. She is. And other people are looking at her, Aries. I'm just saying, you know, everyone wants an empress. I don't know if they're at the empress level of energy, but everyone wants an empress. They want someone who's balanced, someone who has all the answers, someone who can do all the work, someone who can make all the money. The Nine of Pentacles is someone who is abundant and single. So, um... So what your job is, I believe, is to um, up your vibration, Aries. If you are looking at an empress and you are not at the empress vibration, this will turn pretty sour pretty quick because the empress knows her worth and she's not going to take anything less. She would rather be alone, single, than take anything less than what an empress would take. So um, yeah, you got to be, you got to be on point with this lady. 
or this this female energy um this divine female energy you've got to be on point with it i feel like you're you are manifesting a meeting here you are manifesting for the two of you to meet and uh yeah i think you're going to be okay with that what have we got here <laughs> tower <laughs> Yep, I think you are going to figure out that manifestation works. That is your tower, I believe. And then we have temperance. Once you figure out that manifestation actually is the way to bring things, attract things into your life, it's going to give you so much balance. You're going to feel like Archangel Michael. You're going to feel like the person who has the perfect time, the perfect timing. Everything is in perfect timing. You do now understand what temperance is. It mutes all the hard things in your life. It m gives you balance even though you're in trouble. Even though you could be in um, uh, you know, trouble overthinking things, maybe you have toxicity in your life, maybe there's too much, you know, you don't feel somebody is going to uh, be the long-term relationship, this is temperance. Temperance says, okay, the tower's coming, but relax. Towers are for our benefit. You know, the temperance is um, Sagittarius, and temperance is the person who is... Um, balanced when it comes to hot and cold yeah nothing's busting through them they are taking the brunt of it all and they're going to be okay with it hanged man thinking about all the things that you thought were so important in the past i think you're thinking about how balanced you are now that you've come through the tower that's beautiful and then we have the king of swords in reverse so, yeah, you're still not going forward to this person to tell them how much they've helped you in your life. Still not. And I say still not because that came up in the other Aries reading, not the singles reading, but the other Aries reading. Um, there is a tower here. I am just going to clarify that tower. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter for Aries singles. Please clarify this tower and tell me what this tower is about. There we go. Please tell me what this tower is about. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Oh, we had something flip. What did we have? Look at that. Six of Swords. It's time to go, Aries. It's time to go get your person. They're going to understand when you show up with all these swords, all the things you've learned and all the things that you want to talk to them about, they're going to understand why you're there. They're not going to push you away. You've come such a long way. You could be someone who came across the sea, came across the ocean. You could be someone who came in a train plane or an automobile. It could be an hour away. It could be five hours away, 5,000 miles away. But nonetheless, I feel like there is going to be a, a, re, a reunion or a union of some sort. I think you're headed towards your person, regardless of where they live. If you need to travel, you will, as soon as it's safe to do so. <sighs> you're scared. <laughs> you're scared. Yeah, I get it. It's scary to travel at this time. It also is scary to go through this tower without your person at your side. I feel like this tower is breaking down your fear. It's breaking down your fear. It's making you a little more hard-ass than you used to be. Also, it's making you think things through before you move. Instead of being that knight of wands, you know, thinking first, acting later. Um, I, think that that's, I think that's what you're giving up here. Yeah, you're walking away from the toxicity and uh, the toxicity that you created, really. And then you're thinking about, how can I fix this <laughs> without going through another tower? Okay, so an opportunity comes for you, and you're very defensive about the opportunity for love. Oh, Aries, of course you're, op you're opposed to it. I know that on the surface, you're like, I don't need it. I don't need a relationship. But underneath, you're like all mushy and gooey and lovely and adorable and sweet. There we go. We're going to put this up here. All right. So what do we get next? We are going to go to the... Ba -ba -da -da. Where are they? Oh, they're there. Okay. There we go. Okay. Tell me more about this union. Ooh. Okay. Well, we can't take all of those. We cannot. We'll be here reading forever. Tell me about this union. Okay. Um, I think Aries singles, you are thinking that this person is not going to accept your invitation for a long-term relationship. And uh, Eight of Wands tells me you're not really communicating that to them. Um, Seven of uh, Pentacles tells me that you're done waiting, though. So I think that there is some communication between the King and the Queen of Pentacles coming up. 
and we have high honor let me look at high honor because I know high honor is someone who is being honored who's really good at their job people are watching them they're leading people um, the five and seven is the chariot that means that this is is quick this high honor that's coming here um, 24 25 Okay, it indicates achievement. So I feel like you're a hard worker. There we go. Um, so I think what you're doing is you're working too hard, though. I think that you're ignoring all of this, all this stuff that's going round and round in your head. Part of your burdens is that you think your person's not into a long-term relationship or that they may not want one at all. And I think that the high honor here, the way that comes in is... Um, that you are very ambitious and you're trying to cover up your wants and your needs with working hard. It says your ambition, skills and knowledge are recognized now. So people are watching you at work. Um, uh, this card announces success, for example, in the form of a job. Acceptance or promotion in a relationship, high honor, can, can imply an invitation or even a declaration of love. As the card signifies solving problems, it can also demonstrate the resolution of all difficulties. You are deserving of your rewards. Neat. So this ten of pentacle or ten of wands that's under here, this is what's going on here. You're going to be able to get through dropping these burdens. I feel like with this high honor, it gives you more. Um, it gives you more confidence in in a relationship with this person that you're thinking of. Um, and uh, high honor also, yeah, I think it, that's what it does. It gives you confidence. You know that you're doing the right thing, that you're on the right path. I think you really do want to marry this person, honestly. Um, I feel like this is your intention. Your intention is to marry the Empress. These are both cards number three. I think you're looking for an Empress. Um, she's looking for you or whoever the Divine Feminine Energy is. And uh, I feel like this is going to end up in some sort of marriage. We have Sudden Wealth. To me, this is taking a gamble. Sudden wealth could be anything. It could be sudden wealth in health, sudden wealth in money, sudden health, sudden wealth in you want a house, you want a car. You know, sudden wealth is something that you weren't expecting. So um, it isn't something you planned for. It isn't, uh, I, I feel as though it, it could be possibly a promotion, but it's not any sort of dollar amount money that you're being awarded for anything. I feel like the sudden wealth is actually um, a life wealth. That it's a wealth of things that you know. It's a wealth of um, sudden wealth. Is is a knowing. It's a sudden knowing. Look at that. Messages. You're going to be sending a message to this person, letting them know that you've been through this tower. Well, maybe not in those words, but you've been through this tower. And that what the tower is, is you've realized that you're in love with this person. The person that you're thinking about right now, Aries, the one that you've been thinking that may be your twin flame, that may be your soulmate, they are. That is the person. You've manifested it. There is a magician under this pile. You've manifested it. But I think what you're going to do is you're going to... <laughs> aren't you going to do that? That's so romantic and sweet. I just heard, you're going to send a love letter. So I feel like you're going to send a love letter to this person that you've been thinking about, whoever that person is. And this person is going to accept that love letter. And I think you're planning on doing that pretty soon because seven is the chariot and that's fast moving energy. That's the success you've wanted for a very long time with this person. So if you um, know where they live, but you don't have their phone number or can't get through online for whatever reason, maybe they blocked you or you blocked them. I feel like that, that there is a letter that you're going to write and uh, it's going to say everything that you've wanted to say. Yeah, this person in high honor, they are someone who is... Um, someone who's in love. I also feel like it that the high honor is... not Sorry, not the high honor, but the bouquet is on the high honor. So I think that maybe you were given a gift... Um, after you were given this high honor, you were given some sort of a gift. Um, and I think you just want to share your information with your person. Um, this is a wish come true. So um, this high honor that you got from your workplace, um, or maybe in your life, maybe someone else, maybe a parent gave you a high honor, but I feel like it's more about corporations. So I feel like you want to tell your person, but they're no, nowhere to be found. And I think that you are going to tell them with this letter. 
And yeah, this is a gift. This is a wish come true. So you've been working hard toward this wish come true. That, you know, I'm, I'm looking at it two ways, you guys. The high honor could be someone that uh, is in high honor because their person honors them. So Aries, you could be the person of high honor because your person loves you so much and honors you. But I feel like what's going on with this bouquet here is that you are... Um, uh, getting a high honor from work and I think that you just want to share it with someone and I think that this is also a wish come true for you yeah you know that this person's your anchor they anchor you um, I feel like you feel anchored by the Empress and you feel anchored when you are in a relationship that is contractual and is sworn to each other is monogamous and honest transparent i feel like this person anchors you and so you don't go very far away from them you could be living you know in the area where they are or you could maybe be an hour away i feel like they're never really without your energy and that tells me that again this is twin flame because anybody who is not without the other person's energy and can't cut it off is someone who's probably in a twin flame relationship here then we have the journal Getting to know things. Oh, this is about hidden secrets, you guys. Alrighty then. So you're not telling anybody about your healing. And I feel like that you are someone who has had a lot of healing and a lot of great things happen in their life. But I'm just wondering if um, you're just not telling anybody about it right now. Um, but I think you're going to be ready to open up soon. Then we have the ship. Tell me about the ship. I know that it's about travel. It's about kind of sailing over anything else that is standing in your way as, you know, um, as something that is standing in front of you that you can't get over. I feel like you're just going to, um, yeah, you're just going to sail over those problems that you're having. You're going to ignore that voice in the back of your head that's telling you you're not good enough. And I think you're headed towards your person. Um, it's such a situation that requires a journey. Um, so a journey within. I feel like you you are on a journey within um, yourself because you want to write this letter and you want to put all of your heart and soul into this letter. The letter that you're sending, remember? The information. I mean, it could be online, but I have a feeling it's going to be like an old school, handwritten, check yes or no, that kind of thing. I think it's going to be suit cute and sweet and quirky Aries. Um, your person could be sending you this letter, but I don't think that's it. Aries is in charge. Aries is the one that's in charge. I think you are the one sending this letter to your person. Let's find out what's going on here. Oh, all right then. I'm told to go to the Romance Angels. That's the first time anyone's ever said to me, Romance Angels first. Okay. All right. What do we got going here? Codependency. Oops. Let your friends help you. Healing family issues. And heart to heart conversation. Okay, so I think that in the past there was codependency, but the gift is now that there is no codependency. I feel like you're free to approach your person. I feel like. Um, Letting your friends help you, anchoring you, pardon me, and um, I think that you should include your friends because this person is going to be someone your friends are going to want to know. I feel like there is, yeah, I feel like you just want to introduce this person to all your friends. I think that you feel they're pretty wonderful. There is something hiding in terms of family issues that is in the background. It says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So something has gone on in terms of a parent and parent or parents and I feel like you're keeping it hidden. This is information I think you're going to share with your person and only your person um, that uh, you've been hurt in the past in a family way and uh, I'm sorry if that's you. Um, heart to heart conversations tells me that yeah this person is going places they are going to send a letter with the biggest heartfelt message um, sorry Aries you're going to send a letter the biggest heartfelt message you've ever mustered in your whole life and I think that your your person is uh, awaiting that, honestly. I think they're just waiting to hear from you. Any way that you want to contact them, oh, <laughs> yeah, you want to tell them that uh, you have a gift. 
the gift of the boat the the bouquet the gift is love you want to get married you're heartbroken um and deeply hurt because of this time that you've had in separation and there you go you are twin flames i said it was true all right so you know what happens then you guys i'm gonna go here twin flame cards so since you haven't talked to this person in a while since you are in separation with your twin flame and you may or may not know it aries here we go what would your person want to say to you i have some growing up to do don't we all we have i'm ready to love you the way you deserve wow i'm trying hard to understand my feelings so this person may be just coming to light that this is a twin flame connection as well i'm coming my love so this person is um, willing to meet with you um, if you want them to go out with you somewhere they're willing to meet with you and uh, this person's not going to say no i think that you think that they're not into a long-term relationship but i think you would be wrong it says i am my happiest with you i'm sorry that i treated you unfair you didn't deserve that and i'm ready to communicate so this is key right here you guys communication get on it if you want this person and you don't want someone else to grab them and for them to be someone else's you need to get on that stuff just saying just gonna leave you with some advice what do you do next aries singles sun moon rising venus and jupiter what are you to do next aries sorry for the craziness outside my window if you heard that I call them homemade cars. They're really loud. <laughs> All right. We have 28 victory. This is going to work out in your favor. Eight and two are 10. That's starting back at the beginning. It is. And uh, it is also victory is the wheel of fortune. Yeah. Eight and two is 10. 10 is in the major arcana. That is, uh, that is everything moving in your favor. Fated event. It's fated that you have victory. So there's nothing that you can do to screw this up. It's going to work out. You two are twin flames. You understand? You have to go towards each other. Um, but I feel like um, what happens when you two get together is a totally different story. So just be aware that um, you need to be on your P's and Q's, okay? You need to be kind. None of this whipping out the, uh, the energy of the uh, king of swords. If you want to have a relationship with this person, be kind. Um, and if you're kind, that energy is going to rub off on your person and they're going to be kind as well. So we do have um, journey. You have manifested this journey. Um, we have uh, under here, we have the um, magician, but this is number two. And number two in the tarot is, is um, the magician manifesting. So you're going on a journey. I believe that you're headed out on a journey. When Once things get all settled for you um, in your life and, you know, COVID so sorts itself out, all of that, I think you're on a journey to victory, honestly. And this, this twin flame union is going to happen. Um, so heal, heal, heal. That's all I can say. Continue to heal, please. Um, if you notice yourself in this connection or you are in this connection, please just continue to heal until you are healed. You must be at the vibrational level of your twin flame. And they must be at your vibrational level. So they're healing as well. We saw that up here, right? All right, Aries Singles, I am gone. I'm out for now. We're going to do another update next week. And I'm out of here for now. And I love you guys. And you have an amazing weekend. Okay, I'm out.